okay so today our objective is to understand the insertion sort okay whenever we have a input set of uh, number and we are going to make ascending order or descending order using insertion sort algorithm right so let's right. Uh, take uh, some number set of number maybe input input can be any number like seven two nine three one three right right any number can be okay this is the set of numbers and so this is the input our objective we have to arrange in ascending or descending order using uh, till now we have covered the two algorithm one is the bubble sort algorithm one is the selection sort algorithm selection yeah right so here we have to say arrays arrays dot post okay, so that we can get computer yeah and maybe one method can be like static void insertion okay sort and this will take your array integer array and okay and let's say i'm going to call this insertion sort pass the input array and after that your it should be sorted right this is the just template of our code correct yeah. so till now whatever the input we are passing we are calling this method and we are doing doing nothing so the same output right that's right so let's think uh whenever we have input one algorithm we have a study like a bubble sort means comparing one to another right if right. uh, this is bigger than than swap right comparing nest comparing nest comparing nest comparing nest comparing nest right whenever right. one pass maximum number go to the last right this is our bubble sort algorithm in the case of uh, insertion sort we are selecting first position right first position data and checking first positions comparing data with all right comparing with all is there any data less than this then change this first position right mm -hmm. right the selection right. algorithm means ki we are selecting position one and finding out the minimum for this complete for all comparing with all right and whatever the minimum we are placing a first place right and similarly we are come for the next position for the next position next way so these were the your selection sort algorithm these were the bubble sort because swapping one to another element one to another element so till uh, now we have yeah. covered right mm -hmm. so now we have to jump some different approach to solve this problem right that right. is the insertion sort so let's first understand what is this algorithm then we have to think how to write the code okay so this approach say this insertion sort approach say whatever the element you have okay take one element okay you take one element six right yeah so whenever we have a one element by default this is the sorted element right is it okay one element means sorted element right sorted element take, you take one element from the input and making this is the only one element that means the, if one array have only one element that means what do you think it is a sorted or not yeah, so the array has only one element that's sorted. Uh, let's let's assume that I reading the first element here six, and assuming the only one element in this array, that means it is a sorted array, right? That's correct. Okay. So let's now read the next element. Next elements we are getting a two, right? So we have to decide this is my sorted array, right? This is my sorted array. Now we have to decide right. we are getting the input as a two, right? Two. The two should we go on the left or right right 
left. We have to decide two is the smaller number, right? Right. Two is the smaller number. So if we have a only one array, that means this six is a sorted, right? But now I got another element two, right? So I say ki we have a two element of array, right? Okay. So this two must we go to the first place, a six go to the next second place, right? So we are saying ki now two should be the first place and six should be the second place. Now this is the sorted array. Sorted array of two elements, right? That's right. Correct. Now let's move the another element nine, right? Nine. So what do you think? Now we have a three index of array, right? So now nine should be go here. After nine, six. Because the After. last number is six. A six is a smaller. A this is the bigger. That means nine is the right place here, right? Nine should be go here, right? Right. So now two, six, nine. These three numbers are sorted element, right? Correct. Till now. Now let's read one more. Now we're reading a fourth number, right? Fourth. Fourth number. Then we have to think this four is should be here or not? Surely not because four is less than this nine, right? Is it okay? Four should be. Uh, four should be not two. here because yeah. if you put here four, that means key four is the less number, nine is the greater number, right? Right, right. So four should not be going to the less. That means four is a smaller number than this nine. So we are saying, hey, nine, can you just go back here? Go back here. So I say nine, go back here, right? And again, I am going to comparing this four to the next number is six, right? Six. Comparing six, four is still less than or greater than. It's still less than. So I say, hey, six, can you move your position from here to here? So now six come here. Right? Again, I comparing four to two. So he say, four is greater than, two is less than. That means that this is the proper place. We have to place four is this place, right? Four at this right. place, two here, six here, and nine here. Now we are getting sorted array of the four element. Any doubt? Okay, yeah, I understand the concept, but yeah, how do you push little bit, little down? bit? Uh, so yeah. let's now move the next element one, right? Yeah. Now we did the next element one. So we are let's checking one, right? Now we are going again comparing this big nine. Nine is the greater. Then we have to shift nine to the here, right? Yeah. Again, comparing one to the six. Six is a greater. Then we have to move to six here. Say six should be here, right? Then one comparing with that four. Four is the greater. Then we move to the four here, right? Right. Then we comparing to the two. Okay, two move to the here. Now no element. That means one should be go first. That means our sorted array look like one. Two, four, six, and nine, right? Nine. Yeah, that's right. This should be your now sorted array. Correct? Correct. Similarly, let's move the next element. Next element have a three, right? So now we have a next element. We have a three. So we have to decide three going to the which place. The first compared to the this bigger number, then swap here, nine, right? Correct. Then compared to the six. No, bigger number compared to the here, move to the 6, right? Compared to the here, bigger number, move to the here, right? Compared to the here, no, it is not bigger number, right? Right. So this should be placed here. Right? Look like whenever we are playing card, right? So we are, uh, someone give me the 10 card, right? So we are picking one card in your hand right we are picking next card and we are deciding we are going to the left or right right and inserting right correct similarly again pick up the next card and deciding i'm going to the first left or middle right and inserting right the so similarly here logic we are picking one number and inserting the right place due to that the name is the insertion sort 
so it is checking from the last position each yeah. each yeah. position yeah, you can decide from last position you one let's you are playing card you have received 12 card right so you are right. picking one card and put your hand and then picking next card and next card you are deciding i'm going to put left or right right and right place the right places insert again you are pick up the next card and again putting the right place what is the less than right. greater than number right right you are putting next card similarly next card means you are getting one card and placing the right order what would be the valid place position right correct similarly here we are picking one by one number and placing in complete sorted array always Okay, now this is the three the right place. So now look like become number here. Now we are become like one, two, three, four, six, and nine till now, right? Right. This is the sorted array. Now next time till now three done. Now I'm moving the five. Next element is the five, right? Five. The 5 we have to check and this is the new element right 5 so we have to check 5 is a less then we have to move 9 to the here right right because 5 is less number then again check to the 6 okay 6 is still greater 5 is less then we have to move 6 here now move 6 here then again move to the here 4 no 4 is a smaller number this is the greater number so we cannot go ahead this is the right place here we can insert 5 right So here, each number you are deciding what is the right place and we are inserting. Due to that, this sort name is insertion sort. Means you are taking one number and deciding where they are going to the place, right? Any confusion? Okay, I, I get that. Yeah. So that is the log. Algorithms mm -hmm. of insertion sort. Insertion sort, nothing. This name also come from the playing card algorithm, right? Whenever someone pick up the playing card, how arranging the card, right? One, two, uh, two, nine, right? Right. The same approach here implemented to the sort your array. So whenever we playing card, our objective, our card should be in one uh, order, right? Then yeah. one, then two, then three, then four, then seven, then eight, then nine, then A, B, C, right? So A similar I... approach here. We are just trying that our objective. We are assuming that this is my sorted your element, okay? And whenever I am picking any element, we have to decide this going to this place or this place or this place, right? And accordingly, if number is bigger, then we're just swapping them, swapping them and putting the right place in the here, maybe, right? Right. So our object in this way, so we are, so uh, in the programming, just initially we are, you are getting, pick, picking one card. So one means this is a sorted array, right? Right. Again, you are picking next number. That means now we have a two number. The two number must be sorted. You are placing the right place, right? Again, right. you are picking a third number. Third number put B and that should be the sorted. Maybe here or maybe here, maybe here you decide, right? Again, right. next number. Next number, next number you have to decide what is the right place and make the sorted. Again, next number and decide key what is the right place and place the right value, right? So objective simply picking one one element and deciding you go to the right place. This is the right place or this is the right place or it is the right place. Right. So, algorithm look like clear? Uh, yes. Now, uh, if I have a uh, pro mm -hmm. in programming, if I have a, uh, uh, a situation that I need to do a sorting, mm -hmm. I can pick any of those, right? Yeah, you can pick any of them, yes. So, and, it's like uh, a different way of sorting. Different, different way uh, of sorting and uh, later part, there is a some uh, time consumption criteria, which situation you are deciding which algorithm you are going to use, right? 
what number of time it takes. Generally, we are here solving like a five element, six element. Doesn't make any sense for bubble sort and such sort. Let's we are going to sign sort 100 million record, right? Okay. So which algorithm take less time or high time? Oh, so you can the code can which take the... a minimum condition, minimum minimum loop, minimum comparison, right? That right, will execute right. faster your code. So this is known as your time complexity and space complexity. Two criteria on which basis application designer decide on which times which algorithm I am going to use, right? Okay, I see. So they have a part. criteria, right? That I understand. Like when I uh, work on certain thing, right? Okay. So that is the next, uh, not the part of the discussion, but yeah, okay. there are lots of algorithm. Some algorithm have uh, some pros and cons, and how we are judging which algorithm is best or which are not best. Any algorithm, time is less, right? And space is less, right? Mm -hmm. If you written a code, take two page of the size, right? And execution take a larger time. So objective okay, is that okay. our code should be as small and as take less time. Less time is number of if conditions should be less, loop should be less, right? Okay, so okay. That so that region, takes time. That, that will takes take time. time. If you're going to 10 if conditions check. Uh, some algorithms say you only two if check, but two if check is faster than the ten if check, right? Okay, okay, yeah. I see, I see. Yeah, yeah. So this will, uh, in the mm -hmm. case of uh, sample data like ten data, hundred element, two hundred element, all the all all the algorithm works fine. But whenever going to the bigger thousand, ten thousand type element, right? So then I can see the difference. I can see different the in the timing. Yes. Timing. Okay. Okay. Timing of the program mm -hmm. and nowadays uh, each and everything someone want to as quick as possible right so these right, are got right. to solve a problem but as quick as time that not help us this okay sorry i i did not want to change the topic <laughs> <laughs> but that is very yeah, good things but we should aware you yeah, why I we are learning yeah. Just arranging number, different approach, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what I want to know. Power sort, insertion sort, selection sort, and say if for arranging number, you know, dozens of algorithms exist, right? Oh, for, not for, one, two, three, uh, sorry, dozens okay. of algorithms may exist, just arranging the number. Oh, so this is very popular. This is very yeah, used. Sorting uh, is a very, very because you notice in a, in a Microsoft Excel, you are uploading. 1 million record, right? Right. You notice on the Excel, you're clicking the sort, sort by name, sort by yes. year, sort by number. Yes. Yeah. So these, generally, as a human being, we click and we're thinking data is automatic arranged. No, some algorithm they have implemented, right? Okay, okay. So some code is working behind it. Behind that, whenever you're clicking the, on the click button, right? Sort. Mm -hmm. Your data is rearranged, right? How? Because behind the scene, they have written some algorithm. Okay, okay, I see. Yeah. And generally, we not we are just thinking automatic, automatic. Nothing will happen, right? Right, right. Good example okay. of Excel. Excel support the sorting of each column, maybe number, maybe string, maybe float. Yeah, uh, they yeah, are yeah. providing very quick sort. Notice, just very click quick, and yeah. data sorted, right? Right, right, right. If let's have uh, surely they have not implemented this insertion sort bubble sort because this will take larger time because all this algorithm. The time will take, like uh, if your n number of length size is n, right? n multiplied by n time minimum, n square, you can say. If here our element is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, the 7 multiplied by 7, 49 unit of time it will take to complete the sorting. Unit right. means key, uh, not unit means the uh, for executing one instruction your machine how much time take right in my machine might be faster machine than take microsecond might be some less machine than take a second right so whenever we are uh, judging any performance of the program is the unit like a unit number of times your code executed right 
Mm. Depend upon your right. hardware. We not never say ki 49 second it will. Let's see here our length size is the like a n is just 10 element, right? I right. have a 10 element. So minimum bubble sort insertion sort selection sort take a 10 multiply by 10 multiply by 10 times. So it will take 100 second. I cannot say 100 second. Okay. Some machine is faster than maybe take less. So here say ki 100 unit times, right? Unit means depend upon the, your machine, right? Machine, yeah, yeah. But surely it will take hundred unit of times. Unit means depend upon the hardware instruction execution time, right? right? So due to that, lots of algorithm develop that can arrange your number as quickest as possible. These right. numbers sorted. Uh, this all the sort which read. Bubble in such select, it will work good for number 100, 200 number is okay, right? But when we are going 1000, 10,000, it will take larger time to sort the number. Maybe generate 1 million number and sort them and wait how much time it will, it will take, right? And right, you right. paste same th million number in Microsoft Excel and just click the sort button. Take how much time it will take? Very right? quickly. Yeah. Very quickly. That means ki Microsoft developed the Excel software with a very efficient sorting algorithm. Mm -hmm. Right? But here, as a learner person, we just think these are the approach. But these are the not used in the application and production, right? Okay, okay, I see. So production environment is different. Yeah, depend upon the nature of data. If our production have not millions of data, then it will good. I saw okay in our application might be 100 or 1000 or 1000 record can be in this table, right? It will work fine, right? The nature okay. of applications, nature of data, we are implementing algorithm, right? Sure, okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. So okay. as of now, just understand there are dozens of sorting algorithm. Each sorting algorithm have a criteria that generally for evaluating any sorting algorithm, two criteria we have to consider. One is the time complexity, right? Yeah. Time, time complexity and space complexity. These are two criteria on which basis we are deciding which sorting algorithm is the best or we can use, right? Right. Uh, these multiple algorithms work for multiple algorithm work for good for less number of elements. If we have a less data, okay, less number of elements work better than the high number of elements. So this uh, depend upon the nature of number of elements we are sorting. Right. Number of elements. Okay. So this complexity also vary depend upon the number of elements, right? right. So might be one uh, algorithm, it's good for the less number of elements. One same algorithm can be not good for the high number of elements, right? Right. So due to the approach, the way we are implementing code. So these are the one of a very key concept about the data structure to understand the time complexity and space complexity. This is oh, the measurement criteria of your applications. Mm. And nowadays, because application is nowadays, all applications should want as quick response as possible, right? The time should be considerable. And nowadays, our applications are running on a mobile, and mobile have a very limited space, right? Right, right. We have to also think we have to our code as small and as time efficient. Right. It right. So these are the some criteria on which basis the application decide which algorithm I am going to implement or used. Right. Yeah. Good. So that is the other topic. Okay. So now we come, let's understand basic things, okay? Sure. 
so how to sort the algorithm let's we, any question till now uh yeah i'm good now yeah okay so here our objective hmm, let's just uh, for we have to read what each element right uh correct yeah first less than a dot length semicolon is out i plus plus so by default thinking, this is required because our objective is i'm thinking how you push one element in between yeah let's you yes. already know the swapping algorithm pushing means just copy from one place to another place <laughs> Just let's again it's done. Let, let's keep this is the place now. Let's keep this is the started element like a two, four, and eight. Let's assume now I getting the new number like uh, three, right? So how I'm going to push, right? I'm just comparing th three to the last, right? If last three is still less than, then I should eight value to the here. How can some pair I know ki this is let's this is the i position? Let's this is the i position that means I am going to push i plus one value. This is i plus one. So if I swap this value, this value let's ki a of i, right? This is the yeah. a of i, a of i. I am going to assign here, going to swap here, right? Here, here means ki a of i plus one position, okay? Right. Whenever okay. you write this code, ki AF I plus one copy means ki AF I value copy to the AF I plus one, right? So here this move to the eight, right? This line. Whenever say AF I plus one equal to AF I, this is the logic. Any confusion here? So uh, whenever you put plus one uh, mm. uh, in 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 the uh, in the array location. Yeah, let's, this, is the, it, let, this is the zero, this is the one, this is the two, right? Okay. Yeah. So here, let's here let's assume i equal to two. Okay. So here say ki a of two plus one, right? Yeah. Two plus one equal to a of two, right? So a of right. two is the eight. This is the a of two means eight assigned to a of three. A of three means this position, right? Right. I am going to assigning eight here. Okay, so we need to put two plus one in between the bracket. Yes, yes, because here in a bracket means this index position, right? This is the R index. Here need one number, right? Oh, okay, okay, I see. Maybe i i plus one i plus three. Finally, the calculator become one number, right? Right, right. Finally, they become a of three, right? Right. A of three, a of three, a of three. What value assigning? A of two, a of two is the eight. Eight are copy here. Right. I got it now. Once done, then I this I should be now we have to decrement minus, right? Initially I was a two. I say go to the here, jump here. I should be one, right? So I should be now one, right? Minus one oh, somehow, okay. right? Mm. Then I will control gump here. Now this I am going to compare into the three, three, right? If this is the less than or greater than, it's still less than, right? This is the less than. Then again we have to move here, right? Same logic. Here again, I miss I plus one equal to A of I, right? The same logic here also. This move from four to four plus one place, right? Right. Same logic which we did here. Until this condition, until this condition is less than, we are a shifting number, shifting number. And whenever you come here, now this condition falls. This is not less than, right? Then that means ki this is the right place we have to swap three. Then we copy at this place as three, right? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. So here code is very simple. Don't think, but understand the the way we are solving the problem, right? Right. So now here till I am able to read all the number, right? All the number, right? Okay. So here we have to. I write the code like I mentioned. Let's uh, this is the one what we can think. Uh, this is let's uh, understand. This is the here you notice uh, what this means. Ki our top, uh, this is our original element, right? 
original element, zero element, one element, two element, three element, four element, right? So we are rating first time this, right? So this become your key value, right? right? And second time, second key, right? Three. So let's assume this is your, this is your, let's become this is your integer, your uh, key. Key value become which you are going to insert. Let's key AFI, right? Right. The first time key become your first position. Next time key become our second position. So here mm -hmm. key means I am going to just which number I am going to place right here, right? Maybe here or maybe here, maybe here. That is the key variable. Noting, right? Yeah. And uh, so this key value until less than, then we have to until until this key, our key value is less than, right? Is less than is less than then we are shifting number right right this number we have to shift here right until less than is right. less than again shift right when less than condition fails then we are stop shifting right mm. this is the logic we have to shift number until this condition is less than so we have to write one condition right right so so let's write a uh, while loop one condition key should be less than so we compare here we compare uh, do the compare uh, in while loop why while loop why need to loop because same thing i try multiple time right because this is the key value right this right. is the key if first comparing with this if this the this number is greater than then we have to move here right a same work we have to do for the here as well, right? If this is less than, again move here. Again we have to do same key for here. If it's less than, then move here. Again do for here. Let's false. Then don't do. Then place K here. K is the right place here, right? Mm. So due to that, this activity is checking and moving. We have to do multiple times. Checking and placing, right? Checking and placing, right? Yeah. Due to that, I am writing a loop which we are checking and placing. Right? Is yeah. it correct? Yeah, it's good. So I am saying until mm -hmm. key, uh, let's uh, start one index. Uh, let's say index j equal to. Uh, uh, so let's think what initial here. Uh, let's keep our this is sorted index. Let's keep man assume that key. this is four number is sorted. This is the zero, this is one, this is two, this is the three, right? Right, and uh, that means key one, two, three, four number. That is the original array. We have already re re read zero element, one element, two element, and three element, right? That means these are. These are one, two, three, four. Four are the sorted place here, right? Now let's we are reading the next element. This, right? That means I is the four, right? Right. This is the key four, right? Right. Is the four, and the, then I am going to compare with the here four. That means here we are going to place something, right? So we have to compare with the minus one number, right? Whatever the four, minus we are comparing with the three number, right? Right. Three index. I am going to comparing this with whatever the this till now. This is the three. We are going to compare the fourth position. Fourth position value, right? The right. fourth position value comparing to the previous one, right? Right. So I yeah. say ki our start whatever i minus one. I whatever the i minus one. Right? So if I start minus I minus C, we start from because whenever we are getting the first element, one element, one element by default sorted element, right? Yeah. So our loop, so let's start from the one element, right? Because then whenever I take first, first is the right place, assuming, right? I am going to take now not a first element. First element, assume it is a sorted element, right? I am starting from the next element. Next element, let's say two, right? That we have to decide to go to the here or to go to the here, right? Right, right. I'm okay. starting loop from this second, right? And until key less than AF, your 
uh, a equal zero, right? Oh, J. Uh, right. Uh, yeah, because uh, uh, one minus one equal to one minus one equal to zero. The first position. And maybe we have to check one condition. Ki whenever we are going to, this is our conditions, and this is our key value, right? I am going to comparing with the first this, right? Yeah. If condition less than, then I minus it, right? Again, comparing with this, right? Again, comparing with this minus y, minus i, minus right. i. Once become a zero, don't go outside, right? Yeah, because the array index starts from the zero, right? So we cannot go minus until we have to zero, right? Until zero, we are going to minus, right? Right. So we have to ensure that we are minusing, comparing, 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 but not go beyond the zero, right? So here we have to add condition that we don't go j greater than r equal to zero, right? This should be right. We cannot go here, here j minus, right? i minus j. Let's get this become right. minus one. We are not going to check anything, right? The J should be greater than or equal to zero, right? Right. And if this key less than, then what happened? Here, let's assume this is your number of element and this is the key. Now we say key is the less than this number. Then what do we have to do? We have to just sweep, sweep here, right? Move here. Right. Means key, whatever this J value, we have to move J plus one, right? This position, this, this position, right? We have to move. So these positions, we have to assign the value of this, right? Right? Right. So here, just write the same code. Ki whatever the value, whatever the value of J position, right? Move what is the value J of J position? Yeah. Just assign to A of J plus 1. J plus 1, yeah. Just. And after that, now, Let's see here again. This is your index. This is your key part. Okay. You have to check key less than here. You are assigning here. What are let's value seven? You sign in seven here, right? Next time we have to just compare this with this, right? That means key, whatever this value we have to minus, right? Go here, right? right. So here say key, whatever the j value, just j minus minus, right? Is it clear? Uh, but I understand that you are moving uh, right. the value from j to j plus one. Right. So what about the value that you are uh, in the in the place of j? Let's uh, let, let's, let's say let's, the small number. Example, let's move. example. Example. Let's example. Let's okay. example. Here let's get two. Here let's five. Mm. Here let's get eight. Here let's nine. Right. Hmm. And here the zero, this is the one, this is the two, this is the three. And let's uh, here k uh, become, let's assume, uh, let's get three, right? Let's write three, okay? K value of three. And uh, here, this uh, is your you key. K, K, E, Y. This is your J. J, J is equal to three, right? J equal to okay, three. Minus one. So this, uh, your Three variables should be currently three variables is the here. Here is the key, right? This is the key, right? Right. Now, so what I am going? I am going comparing this k means three less than j. J means a of three, a of j, right? Here a of j. Right. Here say a of j means a of j means j is equal to three. What is the value? Nine. In nine less than three. You say yes. Right. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, three is less than yes. Is the less yeah. than yeah. then what we have to show Ki whatever the value of a of three, whatever the value of a of three, just copy at the a of four, right? The a of four means this four value, right? Right. So I am copying this nine value to the nine here, right? Right, right. And if done, then our we not solve our problem, still we have to not find where three goes, right? So we have right. to say. Ki Currently, I'm comparing with the uh, a of three j. Now j should be like a two, right here. Right. Now our console. So here, say j minus minus. 
now j3 then j become a 2 here go again check k k is still 3 going to check a of j means 8 right again we are comparing to the 8 right yeah it's still this is the less than this is the less than then what we have to do again move this 8 value to plus whatever the a of 2 value to the a of 3 plus one. so you are moved to the now it become 8 again you minus minus again move to the here next again 5 at this 3 3 still less than again you swipe here 5 yeah again you come here then its condition fails 3 is not less than 2 then what have to do that means uh -huh. whatever the value of this j whatever the value of j j become a zero uh, this is the like a uh, three value is not guess then this is the right place we have to place the value the value go to the here right three right right condition false means now this is the right place to place the value right because all the previous already have swept here right already swept so this is the place for three right so whenever this condition falls i go out and say whatever the a of j plus one equal to the key right oh it, that is if the condition is false yeah whenever this condition fail that means we find the right place right right and the, in the go to the right place fail for the f j that means j is the less value then we have to put this new key key value on the plus one position right right in this way let's print here s out sorted arrays dot to string a and let's give whatever the key value i have right right so here key value we are placing in the right place here we are getting key and deciding where i'm going to the put right and just placing the right place this is inserting due to this search we are inserting key on a specific position here we find the specific position until key less than just go minus go minus and find the solution right yeah. let's test it so j minus minus is j minus one j equal to j minus one uh, same thing yes yeah so notice in these times we are getting a two right key the two the two go to the first place right correct yeah. second time our you you will start look from right here to one you started look from one right initially we will start look from one right right so due to that we are getting a two two should be here or here so we say two should be this place right first right. place because key is the less than then we swept, swept this value here and this value here, right? I cannot see your screen. Maybe it's frozen. Okay. Let's uh, stop. Let me know once you are able to see my screen again. Yeah, it's working now. Okay. So I am trying to say ki here we started loop from one, right? The one position, what is the one position value? This is the one position, right? Yeah. One position value two, right? And so this is become a key, right? right. And you are going to check key with the previous number minus one, right? So what is the key with the, this number, right? Six. It is a less than, less than means you are a changing the value, right? You are saying, hey, value 6, move from here to here. This is 6, move here, right? Right. And now 2 is the right place. Next time I picking the I++, plus plus. next time I picking 9, right? This is 9. Notice 9 should be at the right place. Right. And picking a 4, 
Then notice the four would be the right place. This is the fourth place, right? Right, right. In place of six. Uh, yeah. In uh, now notice the one. One we are swapping six swapping here. This is here. This is here. This is here. And now one placing the right place. Right. Similarly, three. Whenever we're going to find the key three, you started from here, uh, like uh, here. This we are swapping nine to the here, six to the here, four to the here, and three the right place, right? Right. Similarly, like five, five, we are again placing nine here, swapping is swapping here, swapping here, but now this is the right place for the five, right? So in this way, notice we are run this loop one by one, taking a key and deciding what is the value, right? Right. Okay. Key. So this is the so logics of your insertion sort you are just uh, taking one key this is the starting from one because by default one array is the sorted right taking a key as a two and deciding in the this position where should be the two this, this is the two place right? right getting in the nine means this is this element where should be the nine nine should be at this place right getting a four so in the this this is the here so where should be the four? Four should be this is the right place, right? Right. Now taking one. So where, where should be the one? Uh, before two. When should be the right place? We are inserting another one place, right? Similarly, like a three. This is the uh, three. It should be after two. So it should be after two. This is the three place. Now taking a five. Where should be the five? Five after should be four. The so here you are noticing we are taking one by one value and putting the proper place in the sorted data. Here we are taking five and inserting the right place, right? Any confusion? Got it. So this is your insertion sort this is a bubble sort and a selection sort is easier than this yeah, the, the, each algorithm has some approach right this is nothing easier and nothing complex right just, just okay. depend upon the understanding right understanding yeah yeah exactly familiarity <laughs> familiarity yeah if you familiar it is easier not familiar not easy so here just right. something just thinking here we are not doing any kind of swapping notice here not doing any kind of swapping just changing one value to another plus and inserting the value there is right, no temporary right. value no swapping here notice in this whole algorithm we are not swapping any number notice just not changing any the variable to swap the data right just moving one from another like yes. a just moving location. number from one place to go back just go back. Go back, yeah, yeah. Go back. And finding the right place and insert the value. Here, just right. moving number, right? And here, writing place, we are inserting data. Insert. Due to this sort, this is the insertion sort. We are inserting the right place value. Right. So, many one, someone, simple, someone. If you compare with the insertion, in, uh, oh, Bubbles and selection insertion sort is better than bubble and selection sort. Oh, insertion sort, sort. Yeah, this sort is better than times and space complexity wise with the bubbles and selection. Oh, okay, okay, I see. Yeah, right. Better thing need more practice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. So till now, any doubt how we implement this concept insertion sort? We are just taking one by one element and checking they are less than than just shifting the number, right? Shifting the number, shifting the number, and finding the right place. 
you find the right place and just insert the key. Right. This is a very easy, right? We are not doing any kind of swapping number, right? Just making a space. In whenever you're playing card, we are just making a space for inserting new card, right? Right, right. If you want to insert new card, we need some space to insert, right? So here, just we are making a space where I'm going to insert. And this is a condition check. Till now, how many times are shifting my card so that I find the right place and just inserting the value, inserting so, the new card. So uh, uh, key key means um, key means the, the value. One by one value we are getting from here. This is the one position value key means, right? Uh, one position value, okay. And yeah. second position, then third position, then fourth position, then fifth position, all value one by one, right? Yeah, and A uh, dash uh, A bracket J. Huh. That means uh, line number 21. So that means uh, the, the value, right? Yeah, here key the value. Whenever say A of I assigned to the key, this is the actual value. Not an index, right? Actual value. Okay. This is yeah. the actual value. Key the actual value. Uh, whenever uh, you write A of J, A of J, what value return actual value? Actual value are compared with the key, right? Right, right. Okay, okay. Got it. Uh, here, hmm. actual value we are swapping to this index, right? Hmm. Changing the value. Okay. Let's rewrite and understand and do practice. Then you Got can it. easily understand how insertions are very simple. There is no any complex logics here. There is no any kind of swapping things, right? Right, right. Just simple. We are just making a space to insert the element, right? Right. Here we are just finding the proper space and here putting the value. Just. At this loop, just for one by one. This is the one element, then second element, then third element, then fourth element, right? Right. So this is the, your original array. Whatever the original array we have, so this loop is just taking, start by default one, this means by default one element is the sorted, right? So we are starting from the next element, right? This is the next element, right? Right. And whenever I am taking next element and deciding, this element go to the here or here, right? So we have mm. to make proper two array sorted element right then go to the next element next element this this right this so this element we have deciding this should be sorted then next element this should be sorted 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 so finally you reach the last you notice all the array sorted right okay mm -hmm. So notice here we are not kind of going creating any kind of temporary variable, any kind of new loop, nothing. Just I am just explaining you. Look like ki, this is the original array. I am just explaining you this is the original array. Take one, take one here, right? I am just explaining right. ki, this is the one. Then take one more element like here, right? Two. Right. Yeah. Take more element like uh, again three, right? Here. Just for ex explanation, but. In reality, this is the only one array A, right? This is the only one array. There is no any kind of new array, right? Right. This is the only one array big array, whatever. Okay. I, you can start indexing from one, right? Means key from this is the zero position, right? And this is the one index, right? Zero index and one index. You are starting from here, right? And you are ensuring right. that this number must be first two places must be sorted. This must be sorted. Once this is decided, right? This turn. And after that, again moving the next, right? Next this. This means the same array with the length three, right? This. And whatever you're doing, we are just shuffling and making this should be sorted. Three position. One, two, zero, one, two, three must be sorted. Whenever two must next, next time is this from here to here. Here you're deciding this four number must be sorted. Means next time you're saying it's same this number. This must must be sorted. Again, yeah. next, next number you are in sorting must be sorted. Next must be sorted. Uh, finally, you reach last, then say my all the numbers is sorted. You are just replacing the value from here to here. There is no any kind of new array, just replacing value from here to here. Just we are just replacing. 
and finding the place and inserting the value, new value. And somewhere you are just making a space from here to here to here to here and whatever this value just place here, right? Is it clear? Yeah. Got it. So let's do practice. And I think this is a good for inserts and sort, right? If you do sure. practice, you understand still any doubt, confusion, we can I can explain again, right? Sure. This now, is a little okay. trickier than other exercise that we did. Because yes, this uh, each have a different approach. This is a very yeah. simpler than other, you can say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Depend upon the nature of familiarity understanding, right? Right, right. Uh, if you look this code, look like this is a complex, right? Right. But the understanding perspective, this is no any bigger thing. You notice, I am not remember this program, just explaining the way you are going to write. The we are just writing the code, right? So number 19, what exactly it is doing? 19. 19, just 19 say, uh, let's... Uh, this loop is start from one place, right? Yeah. That is whatever this your array, this is your array, this is your array, this is your array. This is the zero position data. Yeah. This is one position data, right? I am starting from here, right? Right. But I want to compare this number with whom? This backward, right? This number. So I yeah. say okay, whatever the i, just go minus one. Let's oh, okay, compare okay. this with this number. Right? Right, right. Now let's key I become like here. Let's key I become like a five, right? So let's I become a five here, five. Then K, this is the five, right? So I am going to five value compare with whom? With the four? Four. Right? Four. So here four. say just say four. J should be four. So here we're comparing with the previous number. Oh, I see, I see. I see what you mean. Okay, now I get that. I get that. Okay. And now it's still. it's still done. Again, say minus minus. Again, go minus. Again, go minus. Again, go until this condition less than. Go minus, go minus. But go, don't go beyond the outside of loop here. This condition only ensure the your don't go outside of the loop, right? Right, so right. This okay. condition just ensuring we are not going to minus 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 till less than zero, right? Right, right. Yeah. This is a safeguard, right? Else we are going. If you're not writing this, we are getting the null point, uh, outer bound exception, right? Right, right. So we are ensuring this to this, and this is a just change minus minus till maybe j equal to j minus. Okay, the same thing, right? Whatever here are doing here first time you minus after that again go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, right? And line number 24, when we exit the loop. Yes. Uh, so let's again say, let's example. Uh, again say, uh, let's allow this is the 0, this is the 1, this is 2, this is the 3, this is the 4, right? And this is the J value, this is the J, right? And let's uh, here value like uh, maybe 3, maybe here uh, 8. Here maybe nine, here maybe twelve, right? Twenty, right? Now we have a let's key. I want to four, five. Let's right five value. So I am going to comparing this five with the first twenty, right? Here, right, right. Less than means we have to in this is the j, then minus j, j become a two, right? We are comparing right. this five with the nine. It's still this is the less than, right? Then again, right. j minus j become a one, right here. Right. Then again, we compare here. Still, condition is less than here, right? Right. Then your j become a here, right? Then you comparing here, but it will fail. Three and a five, five less than three here, condition fail, right? Right. Five not less than that. So whenever condition fail means you are going to outside a loop, come here, right? Right. So now that means ki for this positions we are condition fail. That means ki this three is the right place, and this value should be go plus here this place, this place, right? So oh, here I, I put see, it I five, see. right? So yeah, I say ki whatever the value j plus one and insert <coughs> the value. Got it. Right. 
for which this condition break that means this value is the right place right got so it yeah. new key are going to insert just plus one so it eventually is going to push all the array to the yes right. one place yes okay interesting interesting right <laughs> good yeah okay that's a great uh, you again explore any doubt any confusion will again sure. explain connect don't worry okay no problem but let's do practice okay okay thank you Ajay. Uh, okay so uh, so uh, you already record record this yes let's uh, stop it okay